For decades, this now deserted building in Tennant Creek was home to a Westpac bank. But last year, the branch shut with little notice. They just put a sign up on their door saying closed forever. It was shocked how Westpac can treat their clients. Nearly a year later, customers are still being forced to find other options. I have to travel to Darwin and Alice Springs to do my banking. English is not our strong points and our, you know, it's not our first language. It's very hard for us mob. The closure thrust Kelly Gulliver and her team of financial counsellors into the deep end, overwhelmed by panicked customers. It meant that people couldn't access cash, that if they had lost all stolen cards, they couldn't get money out, they couldn't buy food. Anger grew over the decision as people were left to fend for themselves. At least have a little bit of respect and help us set up account. But the sad part about it was there was no consultation, no engagement, no communication with the people of Tennant Creek. In a statement, a Westpac spokesperson said customers in Tennant Creek could still do their banking face to face at the post office using a debit or credit card and directed them to call its Indigenous hotline. But in a remote area with little support, residents say it's not that easy. We need our bank here. We, t we certainly do. They're very loving and loyal people and they think the Westpac's just going to reopen. Australia's banking watchdog has confirmed it's investigating Westpac's conduct. Samantha Dick, ABC News.